The Marble Olympics may be over, but all of the competitors from the competition have gathered back together for a practice run for an event that could be featured in the next Marble Olympics. There you see the starting lineups. Three rows of all of the marbles. Chocolatier is not able to be a part of this competition today. We have another meeting elsewhere. Off they go. Limer's out to a good start. As they fight to the lead, Golden Orbs came out dead last, but they're trying to make up some spots in the meantime. Limer's great start right away. Fairly slow pace to this one because it is going to be a long race, 100 meters. And everybody right now trying to figure out what the strategy is going to be. Do you want to stay out to the edges where there are a lot of waves, a lot of riffles coming off of these steps that they are going down? Or do you try to stay in the middle? So far, the Limer's doing a great job staying in the middle. And you can see whenever they get up to the edge there, just like with any marble, they really bunch up and slow down. Savage Speeders might be trying to mount a little challenge to come back at them. Ooh, I think we had one marble. Maybe get stuck back there already. This is a tricky course. Oh, Savage Speeders almost getting caught again, and that lets a dark marble shoot up toward the front. Is that Jungle Jumpers, I think? It's not quite the jet black of the Blackjacks. Pinky's up there in third. They do a little draft job and then fall back once they bounce off the edges. Limer's still holding on to that lead as we near the one-third mark of this race. Now a challenge from the outside. Limers have lost the lead, and it's to the Pinkies. Are they going to be able to make that up? A few other marbles as we take a peek toward the back. You can see how spread out this field is. Back up front. They've lost it out. Now two marbles get by. Savage Speeders try a look at the lead. They can't get there. Now they come near side. Pinky's up to the top. They have a brief look in second place. Jungle Jumper's back in third. They navigate to the bottom side of the course. Up to the top. Now drafting the lead. They lose out briefly. It's a three-marble race. They all come together. And the Jungle Jumpers get out in front. Will they be able to hold it? Limer's fallen all the way back to fourth. And... They're lucky to hold on to that. Now they're back into fifth, as I say it. Jungle Jumpers way out in front, just like the Limers were, as we're past the halfway point now. Even though this is practice, you think these marbles actually care about this? Oh, I would say so. They're competitive. You don't get to the Marble Olympics and compete at that high a level if you are not an intense competitor. All these marbles want to win this event. Now Limers, cutting into that lead narrowing it every single step they go down. Down to a few lengths. Can they get in that draft? It's a very different sort of a draft than what you get on a speed event through the air. Not only do you have to get close to the marble in front, but then you have to get through that kind of bow wave to get out in front. Will they be able to do it? Limers, back behind, move to the right and take the lead. Getting down into the final quarter of this course. The Limers have it by several lengths. A big gap back from second to third. Now they fight back Jungle Jumpers back in front. Neck and neck, Limers. They're trading the lead every few feet. Finish line not quite in sight yet. They still have a ways to go. Have the Jungle Jumpers... Oh, they briefly get hung up. I was going to say, have they lost a little bit of steam? A mental mistake there gets them caught up on that little crack. And the Limers' lead is huge. Jungle Jumpers going to need to give everything they possibly can try to get back up in front, or to hold on to second place. They could lose that if they get caught up one more time. Now the Limers slow down quite a bit. Here come the Jungle Jumpers. Now the finish line is inside. Jungle Jumpers to the low side. They've got the lead again. Can the Limers come back? Yes, they do. Jungle Jumpers trying to hold on. Can they get back in front for one last lunge? They do, and they're going to win the race. Two tenths of a second. Skip from the Jungle Jumpers gets in front of the Limers. And a slew of marbles all just within a couple of tenths of each other. And now some stragglers back behind. Oh, the Oceanics, 18th in a water event. The fans are not going to be too happy about that. Sparkle from the Shining Swarm comes across. I think we've lost a few. I think we've had a few marbles get caught higher up on the course. And we'll take a look at official timing and scoring to know. Gliding Glacier's doing a good job in third place there in front of Team Galactic. And here will tell us, oh yes, look at this, quite a few DNFs. Snowballs, Crazy Cat's Eye, the winners of the Marble Olympics, Jawbreakers, and more. But that's all for now. 
Thank you for watching, everybody.